We're in Denver, Colorado at Intercom's 19th Annual Oil and Gas Conference. Joining us now is Mass Jeremiah, the President and CEO of Manitowoc Energy. Hi, Mass. Hi, how are you doing? Great, thank you. Great. Manitowoc has an interesting approach to EMP. Can you talk to us about that strategy? Sure, uh, we're focused more on conventional reservoir as opposed to say unconventional reservoir, which seems to be the flavor of the day. So we're going a little bit old school. We're going back to the way companies were built in the 80s and 90s. And uh, by doing that, we're uh, picking up land bases in areas where the other majors and where uh, other, other competitors are not putting their capital. So it allows us to get our land at lower costs, allows us to reduce our, our finding costs with our, our capital, uh, and allows us to chase uh, reservoirs that others are, aren't doing. And when we are able to build a large land posi position, we're able to get scale in these areas. So uh, as we uh, have success, we're not only applying it over a couple of sections, we're applying it over a larger land base. Tell us about your assets. Where are you drilling? And where do you see your best growth prospects? We have two core areas. Uh, one is in the Thrust Belt of Western Canada, and the other is in Southeast Alberta. Um, in, uh, West, uh, in the Thrust Belt, we've been successful in growing production from zero barrels a day to uh, over 5,000 barrels a day. Uh, and we're continuing to develop that, that opportunity. We see an ability to go to eight to 10,000 barrels a day uh, in the next 18 to 24 months with, with that asset. Uh, we picked up a new asset in Southeast Alberta, in Antice. Uh, we're just drilling our first horizontal wells over the summer. That's where there's gonna be more excitement for our company. Uh, we've got a large uh, land position. If the, uh, we're t drilling 10 horizontal wells in the next uh, four or five months. Uh, testing five or six different pools. If we're successful with that, we'll have multiple uh, multiples of locations on those on those successful wells. So that'll improve our growth potential uh, uh, by very uh, significant amount. So uh, that's what's you know going to be investors are going to be keying off of in the next uh, couple of months. Mass, how are you thinking differently today about growth and returns than you were five years ago? <laughs> well, five years ago we were 200 barrels a day. We're just worried about surviving. Uh, today we're 5,000 and we've got more sustainable cash flow. So we've uh, taken an approach that we need to bring our scale up our projects a little bit. Uh, we're not, you know, we're not as big as some of the majors in terms of what we're trying to do. Uh, we don't need to move the needle a whole lot, but we are looking at opportunities and plays where if we're successful, we can add 50 to 100 locations versus just 10 to 20. So that, that's changed. If you can tell us, what gives you the confidence that you can succeed in a seemingly competitive space. Unique traits about your company, basic belief, belief in product pricing? Yeah, I mean, a competition just is a part of life. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're competing. And uh, we're Manitowoc, we're, our, our benefits are our, our main competitive advantages are our people. You know, we've got very strong uh, geologists, engineers in our group, uh, and our land position. Um, Without a good land base, you're not going to be able to, to grow uh, your assets. So we've been able to acquire land in an area where we've reduced competition, either in an area because of our uh, expertise, we're able to, to keep competitors away, or because of the we lock, locked up a large amount of land through uh, Prairie Sky Royalty Corp, which allows us to keep competitors away. So we've um, uh, locked up the land position, done our homework in advance, now we've got the right people, and now we just need to execute. What are some challenges you're dealing with or you believe others are dealing with? Um, yeah, I mean, for, for Manitowoc, again, being a 5,000 barrel a day company, uh, we're not looking at, say, the larger, you know, macro challenges, like you've got the pipeline issues and all that. Uh, and that ha is having a small effect on every anything we do, and we have to keep that in mind. But uh, our biggest goal is to continually increase our production, increase our reserves, um, and to keep adding new opportunities. Uh, the, the macro stuff will take care of itself as long as we keep growing our company. Well, we wish you continued success. Great, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you. I'm Quinn Nguyen for oilandgas360.com.